I have received quite a few requests on this video that I'm about to make today. This is how to connect your acoustic guitar to the F998 Live sound card. Without further ado, let's get started. And now, let me show you the things, cables I will be needing in this setup. First of all, this is the F998 Live Sound Card. That is the acoustic guitar we will be connecting, and for that we will use this cable here. So this is a guitar cable, looks like that. And we will use this adapter over here, 6.35 millimeter female to 3.5 millimeter male. And uh, this uh, one here, this is just XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack to connect to this condenser microphone. And this is just an earphone. As you notice, I will be using the one that has uh, three lines on both ends. So that means this one has a built-in microphone on it. You can also use uh, the one that does not have a built-in microphone. You can use that. And this one here, this is a TRRS, the one that has three lines on both ends. I will use this one to connect this phone to here because what I will do is I'll record what I'm doing so that I can share to you also as I am recording, I can share to you also the audio output I can hear from this earphone over here. And since I will be recording to this iPhone over here, I will need this lightning adapter. Heads up for you, not all lightning adapter works for recording or streaming. And by the way, I got this lightning adapter from the Apple Store. If in case you will be using an Android device, then you will need this one here. So again, this is from Apple Store, so USB-C to 3.5 millimeter uh, female. So this is a headphone adapter from Apple Store and this also works. I've tried this one to connect to a Samsung phone for recording and this one works. And if in case you want to charge your device while you are streaming or recording, then you can use this one here. So this is just a splitter headphone to lightning. So that means you can connect uh, this adapter to here. So something like that to the headphone and then the lightning for charging. And this one is not from Apple Store. This is just from Amazon. And this one works also. And now let's start the connections. I am going to be showing you two different ways in connecting your guitar to this F998 live sound card and at the same time you are able to sing along with that or maybe you can use a, a microphone once you are playing your guitar. So first setup I'll show you is to connect this condenser microphone and for that we will connect this XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. As you notice, this kind of sound card, it only has one condenser mic uh, port over there. So that's where we will be connecting this uh, cable. 3.5 millimeter jack goes here to the condenser microphone and then the other end will connect to this microphone. Okay, and now let's connect this uh, device for recording. So first I will connect this lightning adapter and then I'll connect this TRRS. And by the way, if you are planning to do recording, if you use the TRS, the one that has two lines, it will not work for recording. So make sure the one that has three lines on both ends. So let's connect one end to there. And from here, you just select uh, either of this three, uh, like a phone ports. So let's connect it maybe to the, to the middle. Okay. First option that I'm going to show you to connect your guitar to this F998 sound card is to connect it through the accompany input. And for that, we will use this adapter. We'll connect this one to there. So again, to the accompany. And then this one end, we will connect to here. And then finally, the other end to that uh, guitar. And now to connect the other end of the uh, guitar cord is uh, to here, to this guitar. Lastly, I'm going to be connecting this earphone. As I mentioned, this one is a built-in microphone as it has uh, three lines on this end. So from here, I'm going to connect it to the one for headset. Okay, there you go. Now we're all set. 
from here I'm going to start recording from that device over there so that whatever I am doing you can hear also the audio output or the recorded audio output from that device uh, over there. Just to give you a heads up I am not really expert on uh, playing guitar. Uh, I'm just going to be mostly strumming this guitar so uh, for you to be able to to hear uh, the uh, sounds so uh, from uh, playing this guitar over here. Okay I'm going to start recording now from here. Okay, soundtrack testing one, two, one, two, three, four. So from here, whatever you're listening, this is now the audio recorded from that device over there. So maybe I'm just going to increase my microphone uh, so that I don't have to, to uh, be so close to this uh, microphone, condenser microphone over there. And by the way, for the settings on this um, F998 sound card, whatever you're doing, live streaming or recording, make sure all the time that you're that your record volume knob here is uh, is on high. So I will be setting this one to about uh, three o'clock. And the treble mid uh, bass, it's up to you how much uh, bass you want to use. Maybe I'll set the bass uh, to maybe one o'clock and then the mid at the middle and treble. I'm, I'm just going to set it to about 11 o'clock. There you go. And uh, in this setup right now, I'm setting my microphone to, let's say, maybe uh, four, maybe four o'clock and monitor. So it's up to you how loud you wanted it to hear on your headphone or, or headphone or, or, or earphone, whatever you are using. Okay, so a company, I have to move this up because as you recall, I connected this guitar to the accompany input of this F998. So I'll make sure this one is uh, maybe even at the max or maybe maybe about 90%. There you go. I believed most of the acoustic guitar has, uh, has a gain control also. In this setup right now, I'm going to give you a heads up that the audio output of the guitar is not uh, super loud. So what you will have to do is you'll have to control the gain or maybe just increase the gain from the guitar itself. Okay, so uh, maybe I'm going to set it first to about 50% uh, on here. And again, I set my accompany uh, volume right here to about 90%. And let me show you how loud it is. There you go. So that's uh, the audio output. Maybe what I will do is I will set my mic volume here to zero so that you can hear the uh, audio just uh, from this uh, guitar alone. Okay, I'm going to set this one now to zero, the microphone. Okay, there you go. So anyway, that would be the audio output. If uh, you are going to set your accompany about 90% volume right there, and then the gain of volume from this uh, acoustic guitar is 50%. Now, if you wanted it uh, maybe uh, more uh, louder, then uh, simply turn your gain from your guitar maybe more higher. So let me set it to about, uh, let's say, uh, 3 o'clock. Okay, there you go. Let's uh, press uh, or let's strum this guitar again. Okay. So, anyway, as uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not uh, good in playing guitar. I just only knew a few chords and I can't even memorize th them still. But anyway, I hope you are getting the idea as to the audio output if you will be connecting a guitar and then uh, how to connect it. So again, this is pretty much uh, what it is. Okay. And now let me give you a short uh, sample as if you are playing a guitar and at the same time you're singing along with that. Okay, so from here, what I will do is I'm going to maybe add effects uh, to my voice. 
Okay, again, the volume for the company is uh, 90%. And from here, I set the gain volume from this guitar to about a three o'clock. Okay, sound check. Okay, so again, uh, please bear with me. I am not a really expert on playing a guitar. In your head, in your head, someday, someday, someday. Okay, there you go. So anyway, that should be your audio output in this kind of setup. Now, the second option in connecting your acoustic guitar to the F998 sound card is through the condenser mic port. And for that, we will use again this adapter. So we'll connect it right there. And this is the end of the uh, uh, guitar cord or cable connected to the guitar already. So I'm going to be connecting this one here. And now I'm going to connect this earphone again, as I showed you earlier, this one has a built-in microphone. I will be connecting this one again to the headset over there. And from here, I can use the built-in microphone from here. Unfortunately, if you're planning to be connecting maybe an audio splitter from here to connect to the condenser microphone and to the guitar, I have tried it and it did not work. So this is the only way uh, for you to be able to sing along while you playing a guitar. So connect the guitar to the condenser mic and then connect your earphone or headset to the headset input right there so that you can use the microphone from here and plus your guitar through the condenser mic port and just to give you a heads up in this kind of setup the audio output or the recorded audio output of your guitar will be a much uh, a crispier or louder rather than being connected to the a company input right there and let me show you that in a bit and we will be connecting again this uh, device over here let's connect it to this port right there okay and now we're all set again. So again, in this kind of setup, the only catch is we will not be able to use this condenser microphone. Instead, we will only be using the built-in microphone of this uh, uh, headset or earphone. This kind of setup right now, we will not be using this condenser microphone. We'll only be using the built-in microphone of this earphone. And from here, I will start recording again so that I can uh, share to you the recorded audio output from this device over there. Okay, there you go, soundtrack testing one, two. So right now, I'm only using the built-in microphone of this uh, earphone that I'm using right now. Now that I have started recording, whatever you're hearing, this is now the audio output recorded from that device over there. So on this uh, setup right now, the company volume slider here doesn't matter. Even if it's uh, high or low, it doesn't matter. It does not affect. And now in this kind of setup, both your uh, microphone, so the microphone, built-in microphone of this uh, earphone, plus the guitar will be over here. So the mic volume here will be your mic volume for both your guitar and your microphone. So from here, what I will do is I'm just going to be setting the gain control or gain volume of this guitar to about uh, maybe 11 o'clock this time. And the volume over here, I'm setting the vol mic volume to about 3 o'clock. Okay, let me uh, start the strumming this uh, guitar so you can hear the audio output. There you go. So there you go. So as you notice, it is super loud. I even only set the gain control over here at, uh, at uh, 11 o'clock. Maybe let me set it to about 9 o'clock. It's now at 9 o'clock uh, over here, the gain volume over there. Okay, let's uh, strum this one again. There you go. So as you notice, it is it is super loud. Okay, if I'm going to be setting this one to about three o'clock, it's gonna be super super loud. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now this is at three o'clock. Okay, so as you notice, it is super loud. So I'm just gonna set it back to maybe eleven o'clock. Okay, okay, so from here I am uh, setting the guitar uh, gain uh, volume to about 11 o'clock. Okay, so from here, if you want to sing along, let's say you want to use this headset uh, to sing along while you are playing the guitar, that is also possible. So from here, I'm going to be adding again echo or reverberation sound check.
Testing. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me give you another, uh, maybe a short uh, sample again from here. And again, please bear with me. I'm not really expert on playing the guitar. Okay, so anyway, that should be audio output. Maybe it's too loud. What I will do is I am going to be uh, maybe uh, I'll lower my mic volume to about, uh, let's say, maybe 1 o'clock. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's try this one. give you an idea on the uh, audio output if you will be applying a guitar and at the same time connecting this earphone that has the built-in microphone as your as your microphone to sing along with you while you are playing the guitar and that is all i can share for today i hope this video gives you now an idea on how to connect your acoustic guitar in two ways to your f998 uh, sound card thanks again guys for watching if you like this type of video please give it a like and if you want more of this type of videos consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos i will be posting keep safe and until next time